All right, guys, here's my new setup, my new trailer here. We got this uh, 165 gallon vertical tank. <clears throat> Takes up a lot less floor space. So I uh, switched over to this. This same uh, kind of bulkhead setup as we had in the last setup with the dump right there. Um, I have a different orientation of the machines here, so we switched this up. Put the T here, you got a quick 90. This is a union fitting, so you can take this off. And if I ever wanted to pull this, this is the eight gallon cold water machine. If I ever wanted to pull that out, just disconnect this and it's totally separate. So you can take the whole thing out. This, all this plumbing here is the same. There's our, the filter, dual feed. Uh, no, didn't change any of that. So that's uh, to the cold water. And then this here, I just put this on here. Um, so if I ever disconnect this to, for whatever reason, um, we can still use the eight gallon machine if needed. So, um, but put a banjo quick connect on here for winterizing. So you can disconnect this and hook up this feeds the pump, there's our filter, and that goes to the pump. So, and this is our hot water hydrotech machine. So, um, if we ever need to winterize it, I can just put another quick connect on here into our antifreeze, and it'll suck in, and uh, we can winterize that machine. So, uh, this is the bypass line coming off the unloader. Again, I put a quick connect on here, mainly just to drain the system. Um, and also, as you can see, I have the wheels on this uh, machine as well. I left it on the wheels on thinking, uh, it might be easier just to disconnect, uh, the hoses and wheel the machine off the trailer and put it in the heated garage rather than going through winterizing the whole thing. So that's why I put another reason I put the banjos on here, but this is the, uh, the bypass line and I have both bypasses. You can see plumbed into the bottom of the tank. It's the first time I did this, uh, on a setup. And I like it because it uh, doesn't create a lot of air bubbles. Uh, when you have it coming from the top, it stirs the water up a lot and uh, can cause some air bubbles in your supply line here. So by doing it down here, it's underwater. Uh, it doesn't create those, those air pockets. And also, the, I've, I've heard that the uh, water flow from the bypass on the bottom of the tank keeps the uh, debris from settling down there and getting caught in your line um, <clears throat> and eventually you know if it bypasses your filter into your pump so it's another advantage of doing that but anyway I uh, just wanted to share the setup again pretty straightforward like from my last one as you can see here you know another cam lock to remove from the tank so if we ever need to swap the tank out cam locks this is the dump valve I'll turn this to feed the feed the machines um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we've been using it for a couple months now, um, and it works. It works really well. Um, I thought I was worried about this flow design here with to the eight gallon machine with this ninety, but um, it works fine. I don't have any issues. So, all right, hope it helps, guys.